for you to be lifted up. All I want is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted up. Say all I want is for you, for you to be glorified, hey, for you to be.
Whatever you take us through, our soul says yes. We say yes to your will, O oh God. Father, we honor you and we give you all the praise. Thank you, God of heaven. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Praise God. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Good afternoon and welcome to the Well Oasis International. If you're joining us online, thank you for tuning in. This is our empowerment service, and we have a guest, um, sis, a guest minister for you. I call her Mami. She's my mother. And so I'd like you to just um, make welcome Prophetess Success Uyewoli. God for beautiful faces. Thank God for handsome faces. Amen. In his presence, there's fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Amen. I came in into fire. I felt we should just continue. And I love to stay in there. Amen. We thank God. Can we just say this word of uh, worship to him? Let's appreciate him once again. Let's adore him. Thou art worthy. Thou art worthy. Jehovah Elohim, the Lord God. We want to say thank you, everlasting Father, Father of mercies, Father of grace, Father of glory. We want to say thank you, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ and our own Father, Abba. We want to say thank you, Papa. We appreciate you, Daddy. We praise you. We love you so much because you first love us. You gave us the best as expression of your love. We want to say thank you because there's nothing else 
that we ever need that you have not provided to the seed every need answer to that seed and that living seed is jesus christ and so we say thank you jesus we appreciate you we adore you thank you unto you is our garden again this evening and therefore we know we will not go the way we came in the name of jesus sweet holy spirit please you are welcome don't allow to speak a word until you are brooded. It is when you brood that the world creates. Please brood upon your word tonight. And let it create that thing, that, that exact that God has in mind. Let it be created. Let your word become flesh. And let all I see it and hear our testimony. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray to, right now, Daddy, that you, beginning with me and all your children here and that are watching, join us online, let our life give you pleasure. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, eternal God. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Please, let's be seated in his presence. I want to appreciate God for tonight. Ah, God is so humorous. <laughs> I thank the Lord for the sensitivity of uh, Pastor BMM. <laughs> I will tell her why now. I was on, online on my WhatsApp trying to send a message to my assistant, uh, Pastor Runke Badebo, who is here and with other. And to tell her, I just sent a message. This is the remaining ministration for August. Nothing. As I finished sending the message that this is the remaining ministration for August, <laughs> her message came in. <laughs> I said, wow. The minute I, I sent another message, I said, God is very humorous. I said, could you imagine me telling you the, 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 the book is closed for August? And the Lord said, who told you? I thereby profess up for somebody's life. Even when you thought the book is closed. Because God works, it may be very, it may look so simple. But God speaks to us in many ways. I declare to somebody, when it looks as if you have closed the book, the Lord is saying, I am the one that opened no one shut. May God open to you when you thought it is over. Amen. Doors that you least expected. Amen. That door of next level. Amen. That door that leads to many other doors. Amen. May God open unto you as God. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And so I'm not taking this moment for granted. I appreciate you. I appreciate Pastor and your family. And all the members of the world's oasis. May God bless you all in Jesus name. Amen. You know, the Lord gave me this word. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's something I'm very passionate about. And that is what this ministry represents. Talking about the dominion of God's word. The dominion of God's word. <laughs> you know, all over the world, there is a desperate search for solution. Many of you believe that. <laughs> People want to step out of Mary Clay. Dominion of God's word. People want solution. I'm telling you, people are looking for solution everywhere. People are looking for a way out of oppression, pandemics, or <laughs> depression, weariness, and so and so forth. I'm telling you. And the church is not even excluded. <sighs> hmm. We have so many coping mechanisms now. I'm telling you, people are looking for how to cope. I'm coping. But God did not create us to cope. <laughs> you know, he didn't say you should cope. He didn't say you should cope. Before he created his being, he has made provision, solution before the problem ever, ever come. I don't know. There's a lot of mess all over the world. But we have a God who already knew ahead of time. He's not surprised about our mess. He's not surprised about what we are going through. And I know that tonight is going to touch somebody's heart. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, Erema, Erema came to me, the light of God's work, came to me one day. And very interesting. <laughs> I was praying one day and the Lord spoke to me and we start from Romans chapter 10 verse 8. It says, Romans 10, 8 says, what does it say? The word is near you, in your mouth, <laughs> and in your heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. It came as light. That the solution I'm looking for is in my heart, in my mouth. Say my solution. My solution. It's in my heart in my and in my mouth. And that solution is the word of God. Most times we look for solution far away, but it's in your heart and it's in your mouth. Except it's not in your heart. So I can't guarantee everybody that you have it in your heart. Because the solution is the word of God. There's no other way out or around it. In the beginning when it was, there was confusion, in the beginning when it was like what we are seeing today, there's nothing we are going through that is new under the sun. There's nothing we will ever go through that has not happened before. In the beginning, it was dark. There was darkness everywhere. There was nothing to really lay hold upon. There was no beauty of creation. In the midst of it, the solution came. God said, let there be light. And if we are created in his image and likeness, how do we go through this dark period? God said, and there was. <laughs> Every battle you ever fight, at least in this liberation work, God has given me grace for I don't know how many years. I know some people here, they know me for some years now. <laughs> you know, I have gotten to know one thing through interaction with people that have gone through deliverances. I mean, head of witches, whatever they call themselves. The, everything comes back to the battle of words. They always tell me, it is words. Either spell, uh, curses, uh, incantations, say it. Everything comes around and return back to one thing. Somebody spoke into somebody's life. Somebody said. And that's why when I look at the way we are covering our mouth, they don't want us to cook. Hey, COVID-19. Now, wow. But we must still speak. <laughs> I want you to know that the water that will quench your test is within the well of your heart. And it's only waiting to come out of your mouth if it is really in that well. If you have it there. Because you can't bring out what you don't have inside you. You can't embarrass Satan with 10 hours prayer. But you can, you can kill him with one minute prayer with a rema word. He fears it. He doesn't bother when he enters. If he even sit in meetings where people pray without the word of God. He doesn't have respect for it. But when you see a Christian that knows his, the word, revealed word, and release it, it's a trigger that meets his target. We are here to be encouraged tonight that this word of God works. I say it works. <laughs> I mean it works. <laughs> when people prayed and prayed and prayed, God responded with one thing. He sent his word. And his word healed them and delivered them from their distresses. Oh God, oh Lord, oh God, I need you. He said his word. If you still stay so long on me because you have not listened to what he's saying. Because prayer is a conversation with your father. And it's not one way conversation. When you speak to your father, you listen to him to, tell, to speak to you back. But sometimes the way we speak is like we are rolling and rolling and rolling. And God says, wait, let me talk. I want to tell you what to do. You will hear what behind you saying. This is the way God you are in. But most time we pray. You see, I've been praying. I'm tired. I've been praying for months over this matter. And the question I will ask you, 
Have you listened to God? Were you into a conversation with your father or just talking? Was it a monologue? Just me alone, talking, 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 talking. No! Each time you are crying to your father, your father want to send the word. And so when there was a dark age, and people were crying to God, they were praying. There was a dark age. What, what did God do? He sent his word. And that word is Jesus Christ. The living word of God. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And that word is God. You speak the word of God, God appear. If you call success in your world, I will turn back. When you speak the word of God, God turns. Because it's the only his word that he magnified. You can't separate me from my word. You can't. You can't. <laughs> it's his word. I see God sending his word to somebody tonight. Amen. I see that word is coming. Amen. Your word is coming tonight. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen to me. There is deception now in the world. Because it is a sign of the last day. And the only antidote to lie is truth. For you shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. The truth shall set you free. I have one scripture that I love so much. Revelation 3, 7 to 8. Revelation 3, 7 to 8 says, And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, right? This is says, He who is holy, he who is true, he who has the key of David, he who opens and no one shut, and shut and no one open. I know your work, success. See, I have said before you an open door, and no one can shut it. For why? 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 For you, you have a little strength. I don't get strength too. <laughs> me, I, don't get, I don't have strength, man. I don't have strength. It's God, God, God told me you don't have strength. That's why I will open door for you because if you think you have strength to open door, God will leave you to be opening it. But I don't have strength. So he opened the door. He does the opening of the doors. He said, why? He said, for you have little strength. Number two, you have kept my word and have not denied my name. Each time I look at these three things, I say, stay there, stay, stay there. You know, you have little strength. So, you don't have a choice. You, it is the word that can we help you. So, I don't have a choice than to stay in the world. I don't have a choice. Somebody can have a choice, but I don't have a choice. So, when God called me, and I look at the enormity of the assignment, <laughs> I said, Daddy, you know what? Me and you, we are in to a covenant. And that covenant is the covenant of the world. If your work cannot solve it, I will leave it. That until you speak, I won't go. It was a covenant between me and him. <laughs> yeah, no matter how you speak, if you have not heard it from the word, I have to go back there. Because that's what will help you in this last day. Say, even the elect will be deceived. Oh, even the elect, Jesus said, they will be deceived. I thank God for discipleship ministry like the words. If you don't like the truth, you won't come. People that speak truth, they don't like them. But it is only the truth that we save in the last day. I mean it. <laughs> you don't like the truth? <laughs> There's no other way around it. You must like the truth. See, I like the truth. I like, <laughs> I like the truth. Let me say this because we are going to take time to seek the word. We are going to declare the word. Faith is impotent until it has been spoken in words. Now, it's just like when you have a gun that you load it with bullet and you did not shoot it. That's a group. Some, they have the word in their heart, but to speak it is a problem. When you load your heart with the word of God, the well of your heart, you shoot it with your mouth. You release it. You release it. You release it. You release it. There are some they don't even have it in there. There's nothing there. <laughs> There's nothing to even speak out of their mouth. So what you hear from their mouth is negative. And that's why this is not a time to be lazy in God's word. Nobody will be a contractor. You know, I know we have contractors out there. You can't find it here. Me, I don't know how to do it. I know somebody just looking at me. I know that woman. Me, I can't fast for you. You will fast and study Bible. 
I know they, I don't do it. <laughs> I take you to the word of God and the word of God, you believe it and I pray for you a little bit and you are delivered. God delivers you. He sent his word and his word healed you. <laughs> and delivered them. <laughs> and remember there was a time I came out of my pattern and uh, you see, they were sending all the manner of mommy water agent. They were sending them. One day I said, ah, where are you coming from? He said, we want to weary you. I said, eh, you want to make me tired? I said, from today, you will just sit down in the world. Why? The Lord said to me one day, he said, it was my word that delivers. He said, take them to the world and let them pray with it. When the power is generated, it will make the work easier for you. Because you will be in your room and the phone of the pastor will be switched off. What will you do? What will you do? Because the pastor is a human being, want to sleep. And you don't know what to do. But the word in your heart comes through your mouth and as you release it and believe it, you begin to see what will happen. Second Corinthians 4.13 says, and since we have the same spirit of faith, according to what is written, I believe and therefore I spoke. We also believe and therefore speak. If you believe, then speak. Tell somebody speak if you believe. The world is for the highest bidder. Many words are being spoken to chart the spiritual realm and make things happen on earth. And as we see confusion even among the saints, because there are people who understood the power of words and they are making sure that they are charging the spiritual realm with words, negative words. And you see it coming down because when there's evaporation, mean evaporation, I don't know how to say it. What comes down is what is going up. And so when they keep on loading the cloud, they are speaking the word into, into the cloud, chantings, releasing divination, enchantment, curses. And you see Christians are just close-mouthed. And now you see confusion. And you see us see what is going on. What is going on? Somebody has finished you know, uh, feeding the cloud. And now something is distilling. You see marriages collapsing. You see businesses closing down. And somebody that is using, using a hostel to not do like this in the marketplace. And see, you see, you, <laughs> oh my God. You see customer passing the, the, the door, the, 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 the front door of the shop of a believer, going to the shop of somebody that is just using hostel because she has been charging the cloud. She has been charging the cloud with words that does not even carry life. But Jesus said, the word I speak to you is spirit and life. It is a battle of spirit to spirit and life unto death. And so you got, before you get to your office, before you get to your shop, you have already loaded your cloud. It is not when you get to battlefield, you load your gun. You already load it. The hunts are load, and you hear the shooting. The bush. There is an awakening, and it is awakening of the word of God. And that is why we thank God for discipleship ministry. We have experienced so many revival that did not last. Why? Because revival can gather people. It takes the word of God to sustain them. You have to learn to align the heaven with the earth. You see, as it is in heaven, so shall it be. Thy will be done on earth. As it is in heaven, the will of God is the word of God. The New Testament. That's the will of God. You bring God's will in heaven, you bring it and download it upon the earth. David said, Lord, do not allow the will of the adversary to come to pass in my life. If you don't want the will of adversary, then you release the will of God. And the will of God is the word of God. And so we have to release it. You have to release it. Let me say this, so that it can, it can stir our heart. 
Job 22, verse 27 and 28 say, Job 22, verse 27 to 28 say, you will make your prayer to him, and he will hear you and you will pay your vow. You shall also decide and decree. I'm reading Amplified Version, the classic edition. You shall also decide and decree a thing, and it shall be established for you, and the light of God's favor shall shine upon your ways. You will decree and decide. Do you see that? When you have the word of God, you are the one deciding that matter. <laughs> you know, I was watching when I was preparing for this message. I just, I just stumbled on the video, video and I was watching and the sister-in-law brought another lady from uh, the east, you know, uh, because they are from the east. And so she doesn't like the wife in the house from Aqua Ibom. And so she brought a lady from the east to come and marry uh, his, her brother. And so when the other lady, because she traveled, she heard this, she you know, said, Auntie, where are you? <laughs> Your sister-in-law has brought another wife. Better come back home fast. So that one, you know, changed her uh, journey and returned back home. And so when, she, when the other lady heard that she, the wife was coming, she said, ah, no, I have to leave. I don't want trouble. That lady said, the sister-in-law said, I am the one that decided in this house. Stay here. Let her come and meet you. It is me she will meet. I am the one that decide. I am the one that take decision. I say, you see? You see confidence? When you have the word of God, you decide. You see, I am the one that decide here. You see people go to meeting for business meeting. Somebody already prepare in the occultic realm and come in with the word and say, I am the one that decide in this meeting. And you just see the chairman looking at everybody. He said, okay, okay, okay. Okay, you are the one that decide. And I said, I was running uh, uh, our normal intercessory school in one of the uh, redeemed. And I told them, I said, you have to get to office early and take charge you in, your, in your house and the office. I said, when they call for board meeting or they call for staff meeting, you must already take in charge. I said, no, but when you get there, you must raise altar. Anyone have trained, no, they have to raise altar in the restroom. Because that's the only way you won't enter with me. I said, when you enter into your restroom, you have an altar there. You jump in there and renew the altar, speak the word of the law, and go back here. And one man simply obey. And he, he took charge in the office. And why the janitor, when was trying to sweep the office before anybody comes in, she was trying to sweep the office of the chairman. Suddenly she saw a pot she had never seen before in under the table of the chairman. And saw the names of the staff with padlocks. She had been sweeping that office. She had never seen the pot physically. But when that brother went to take charge, spoke the word, the pot, the evil pot was open to the woman that was sweeping. She shouted. She said, well, come and see. I've seen something. She said, just keep quiet. It will no more work. Spoke. By the time they got to that meeting, before, only one person would be talking. This time, everybody were able to talk. Because they've already padlocked their mouth. Somebody want to take charge. Somebody want to decide this evening. Be on your feet. <laughs> ah! <laughs> he said you shall decree and decide. That lady was so bold. He said let her come. Sit down. Sit down. They want to decide in this house. Ah! <laughs> can you imagine? I look at her and say can you imagine this? You came to another man, your, your, your junior brother's house to come and decide. But she has something that she believes will work. And the Lord is saying to somebody, when you decree and decide a thing, the light will shine on your way. 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 The word of God has no universal barrier, no gender barrier, no age barrier, no religious barrier. You speak, you believe, and you speak. You shall decree a thing, and you shall decide it. I don't know what to want to decree tonight. I don't know what to decide tonight. I don't know if you have or Already, what is in your heart? Mali Kosutelia, Rekutu Breketelia. My people are perishing for lack of knowledge. Malu Sokreketo, Meli Rosu Seketelia, Regedo Sokotoria Gagada, Rekobo Suketeria Gacobro Sekete. In Jesus' name, we pray. Listen to me. Listen. Listen to this one. Hear, hear this. 
Angels are not dead. The reason why people are not enjoying angels is because they have not spoken. Because angels only hack into commands. The angels are waiting for the heroes of salvation to go out. They are messengers. But because we are speaking what devil is speaking on social media, the angels are paralyzed. They don't have what to do. Because the only thing that put the angel to work is when they hear the commandment, the command, the word of the law. You give them assignment. Go and do this for me. According to, according to, as it is written, Jesus overcame battle by it is written. Somebody is entering that realm of it is written. It is written. It is written. It is written. I don't know what is written about you, but in this moment, I don't know what is written about you, but I know our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of hosts, he won by it is written. He won the battle by it is written. Maliko Sokotoria, the angels are waiting. Maliko Susekete, Jekre Koto Brekete, Rogodo Brosso Kotoria, Regede Rekoto Bregede Legede, Oh, Le Susekete Liagaba, Inca Roba Sakata, it is written. It is written. What has been written? Oh, Satan, believe it. If you have a cattle, you believe and you speak. You believe and you speak. You believe and you speak. You believe and we speak. Rekatosia, it is written. It is written. It is written. It is written. I am the head. I am not the tail. It is written. I am above. I am not beneath. It is written. It is written. Rekatobali. Yeah, the servant will no more ride on the horse. Matalagada and the prince will be walking. Ah no 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 shakata. Reketo sikete. It is written. It is written. Irakobro sokotoria. In Jesus name we pray. Someone was sick in the hospital, a precious son, and it was a day to the graduation, final final year. On drip. All I always look for. I had somebody call me, whatever I'm not in haste. I want to hear the word. And Ezekiel 2 2 just came like a sword. Then the spirit entered me when he spoke to me and set me on my feet. And I heard him who spoke to me. Wow. The all that, that this young man needs is the word to enter. Because the spirit of God moved upon the word. And the moment that word came. <laughs> In the morning, he stood up with a drip. He says, doctor, please remove the drip. And walked there to join the mate and graduated. The world, the doctors have never seen this before. When the spirit of the world enter a man, he, he put you on your feet. He, he, you, you, he jacked you up. Yes. Hey, say, no, you can't stay here. Yes. This is not your place. I don't know somebody who's on a sick bed right now. The word of God is entering you. The spirit of the word is coming to where you are. The time for you to get up has come. The word because he said, and the word as he was speaking the word, the power of God was present to him. Rico Paliso Sekete. Everyone on a sick bed right now. Everyone that is sick right now. Everyone that say you cannot get up. Nekato Breke Susia. He sent his word. His word heal them. Be healed by the word of God. Be healed now. Be healed. 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 Rise up and begin, Rise up and begin to walk. Rise up and begin to walk. Yes. Let the spirit of God's word enter you now. Let the spirit of the word of God enter you now. Jekatu breke su sekete. Rekete riagabo sekete. Rekete sikle kete riagbagada. In Jesus, then we pray. Amen. Listen to me because I write a lot because I write and I and I, I bow my head to write a lot. I began to have pressure on my my, my head. And they say uh, tension, whatever name they call it. They were trying to give me some things for depression. I said, no. 
Uh, the last time I, I, I slept on the bed, hospital bed was when I delivered 22 years ago. My last one will be 22 this month by the grace of God. And I said, no, 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 I don't think that's not the problem. And so I kept on praying, Holy Spirit, what is it? And they said, okay, I should go and do a stray. When I did yesterday, they say it is in the neck because we bend to do phone like this and we write a lot. So as long as you are growing up, the, 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 the what is your neck will begin to bend as you are bending and begin to have effect on your head. I say, okay. They wrote all manner of things. I, I say, me? I say, Holy Spirit, give me a word. Suddenly light came. So, Ezekiel 37 verse 7. He said, suddenly I spoke. There was a rattling noise. All across the valley, the bones of each body came together and attached themselves as complete skeleton. Oh, I said, no, boom, go back to boom, pow, pow, pow. That was the end. <laughs> the bones came back to the bones. I don't know anybody. <laughs> and you are struggling with bone issue. That was the end of spondylitis. <laughs> bone came to bones and the skeleton returned. I am speaking to you now. I am addressing every bone issue. I don't know what they have told you. There is a word. There's a word for you to come out. And the word is settled in heaven. And the word I speak to you is spirit and it's life. I speak to the bones. Let the bones come to bones. Let the bones return to bones. Let the bones return to bones. Let the skeleton be aligned. Let there be an alignment of the skeletons right now. Yeah, the pelvic on your pelvic. Let the bones return to bones. On the back, on the shoulder. Let bones return to bones. Bones return to bones. Bones return to bones. Skeletons return to skeletons. Rakato brekete. Reketo sikala baba baba baba. Oh, yes, yes, the bones are coming back to bones. The creator, the one that created the bone, is speaking, and the word was God, and God is the word. Hey, the one that put the bones together, he's saying the bones should come, and I prophesy as commanded, I declare the word as commanded, and the bone came back to bones, and the bones return back to bones. Let Kataya Is somebody believing the word now? And the word is settled in heaven. That matter is not yet settled here. It is not yet settled. Mali in Jesus mighty name we pray <laughs> you know what there is no language that a wearied man or heart understand or soul that the living word of God from a redeemed tongue do you see the tongue that have been redeemed there are some tongues that they, they are born again but their tongues are yet to be redeemed <laughs> Isaiah 50 verse 4. You're going to pray because you will meet a lot of people that are weary. You will meet them a lot. Because we're praying for soul to come. Sometimes when they come, we send them away. The way we talk to them. People are already guilty. So why are you putting more condemnation? It is guilt that put them where they are. You are adding more. The gospel of God. Jesus is not the gospel of condemnation. It's the gospel of grace. People are already in the valley. Why are you putting them on? You are putting, you are, like you are, you are just going there, going there, going there. No! The Bible said the Lord God has given me the tongue of the learned. That I should know how to speak. I should know how to speak. Because we are going to pray over our tongues. I should know how to speak a word in season. A word in season to him who is weary. He awakens me morning by morning to give me the right word. He awakened my ear to hear as the learned. May God give us the earth of the learned. Amen. You are going to pray, Lord, give me the tongue to speak to those who are weary because they are coming. We are praying them to come. When they come, what are they going to hear? They are waiting, they are tired, they are frustrated, and they are just saying, God, give me a word. Lord, give me the tongue of the learned to know how to speak the word in season to those who are weary because they are all over the world right now. They are all over the world. Maluse kete legede, rokoto regede legede, malia rosuteri aglekede, rokoto zikelende lebo, malia rebo se 
Kateria Bekete, Rokoto Brekete, Sisekete. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. This is a God's word for you. Look at it. He said, There's a hope for a tree. When it is cut down, it will sprout again. Its shoot will not stop sprouting. If it is if its root grow old in the ground and its stump dies in the soil, merely a scent, a scent of water, a scent of water is enough. We make it sprout and grow branches like a plant. I'm saying you have hope. It is not over because your roots is in the water and the water is the word of God. The water is the word of God. I don't know what they told you. Somebody is bouncing back. I say you are bouncing back. I say there's hope for you. That business is not closed yet. That business is not shut down. Go back after this meeting and tell your business. I am the tree of righteousness. I am the tree of righteousness. My root is in the word of God. I am the branch. Jesus is the true vine. I am bouncing back. I am bouncing back. I am bouncing back. I am not a failure. If I fail, I will rise up again. I will rise up again. My business is coming back. That business is coming back. That marriage is rising up again. Rakato brekete. There is a hole for me. There is a hole for me. I am rooted in the word of God. I am rooted in God's word. I am rooted in God's word. I am sprouting again. I am sprouting again. I am sprouting again. That child is sprouting again. Woo! shakatalababa. Yes, sekete. Yes, there is a sprouted here tonight. Oh, Karababa Shakata. Who has a Karabo Shakate? Those who have passed through and they thought it was over, they will soon see that you are bringing leaves again. They will see you are bouncing back. They will see you are bouncing back to life. Makaro Sokotoria. Rekatom Brelia Sosekete. Oh, have you lost somebody that is precious? And you are a widow and it's like it is over. God is saying, you will sprout again. You will sprout again. You will sprout again. Woman, you will sprout again. Your husband, Jesus, is saying, I am your maker. You will not be ashamed. You will sprout again. Oh, thank you, Jesus. There's somebody here. There's someone. You have been traveling a lot, international business, but suddenly. It was shut down. The Lord said, I should tell you, you are sprouting again. Amen. He said, don't give up that business. Don't even think we are will like get the capital to start again. He said, you are sprouting again. Amen. For you are the tree of righteousness. And you are rooted in God's word. And so that is not the end of that business. You are sprouting again. Amen. You will look back and remember to this meeting. Amen. And you ask, how did I get here? But that you may know that no flesh will glory in his presence Amen. when the one who breathed into you bring back that business in your hand. Amen. Hear this word. I will share this case study before I pray the, I lead the next prayer. We are having conversation with our father. I have a son in the Lord who is into business. And uh, he applied for a, a project, they, you know, submitted the LPO and whatever it is. And when they were about to give him the LPO, suddenly somebody came from the back and they gave the other person the LPO. He told me, I said, I don't have anything than the word. On Christ, the solid ground I stand. Every other ground is a sinking sand. If you need any other thing, you are, you are just deceiving yourself. Now, word I have. <laughs> Only word. Jesus. Jesus. Nothing else. That is Jesus. The word. The living word of God. In whom the, is the wisdom and the power of God. My righteousness and my treasure. Jesus Christ. The anointed one, the Messiah. 
I said, stand on this word. And he stood on that word by 12 midnight. They called, they wrote an email and called him, please excuse us. We are into trouble now. Please, can you come and take the EPO? Can you come by and say, but you gave it to somebody? He said, no, no. The person is con could not even do anything about it. Please come, it's your own. 12 midnight. When God begins to torment those who owe you, when your right is in the wrong hand, they will lose their sleep like the king and the Mordecai. And this is the word. Ezekiel 21, 27. <laughs> I read the King James Version. I will overturn. Overturn it. And it shall be no more until, until it come to whose right it is. And I will give it to him. I don't know what God needs to overturn right now. But God sent me to somebody. God needs to overturn certain things. I don't know how he overturn it. That man who came from the back door could not execute the business. Until they had to beg him by 12, night, 12 midnight. God was busy overturning it. Overturn. You don't know anything. The, the person who's right it is must take it. Overturn it. He get to this place. He says, sorry. He tried to contact. He said, no way. He said, well, I couldn't do it. <laughs> Let the one that own it. Let it take it. You are going to begin to declare. Father, overturn. Overturn this matter. Liko Brekusia. And let me receive my right. I don't know what is your right. Your right in your father's house. Your right in your, in your, in your, in your, your business, your career. You are due for promotion. Somebody is taking your seat. And you know you are hard working. And your conscience is clear. You know you are not lazy. And they keep on giving your right to another person. You need to be angry. You need to decree. You need to decide. Oh Lord of Atan. Oh God of Atan. Overturn this matter. And give me my right. Lord you are a just God. Oh God you are a just God. Jehovah. You are a just God. You are a just God. Let my right be given back to me. Akaloso teriagada. Reko susekete. Reketo ragababababa. Oh, thank you, King of Glory. 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 Overturning is going on right now. Remember the spirit. It's going on now. They won't have peace. No rest. Until it comes to me. My right must come to me. My right must come to me. My right must come to me. In the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hear this one. Are you praying for transgenerational priesthood? He listens to me. Valuable without kingdom value, we create generational waste. The Lord gave me this word many years ago. I mean, left all. At least I need to gain something. <laughs> and that is that my generation yet unborn, they will serve the God I serve. Amen. And He gave me this word. Isaiah 59, verse 21. He just told me, say, go and share some of the covenant word I have with you. Just be sharing it. As for me, says the Lord, this is my covenant with them. My spirit who is upon you, and my word which I have put in your mouth shall not depart from your mouth, nor from the mouth of your descendant, nor from the mouth of your descendant, descendant, says the Lord, from this time and forevermore. Listen to me. If you are confident enough that the spirit on your head can go to your children, mm -hmm. you will pray this prayer. <laughs> if you are sure it is the word of God that is in your mouth, not another word then you will decree this you will decree this one that the spirit of god upon me likotokoto will be upon my children you will be bold enough to declare it will be upon my children my children 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 and the word of god in my mouth shall be upon my sons and daughters oh likotobradia that is okay my descendant and descendant 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 for the mouth of the lord has spoken it if you have that boldness
boldness if you are too sure that the spirit of god is upon you they can't you can release that word you can release upon your children now you can release upon your children children now in carobo secretary transgenerational priesthood recatory agaba that is the real value that is the real value that is the real value rakato brekete oh yes say it with confidence say it with confidence if you are sure say it with confidence ralo sokalia marukoto brekete mariana ba 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 oh rekele ba sokoto roba rekele la ba shakata la ga ba 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 Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And that's why you must be careful the kind of spirit that you carry. If you carry the spirit of Tabiari, children, children, we carry the same spirit. Spirit of jealousy and envy. If you continue, you always speak negative word, gossip. You will be in the mouth of the children, children, children. No, the kind you are talking about. We are talking about the, the, the transgenerational priesthood of of of, of, hol, of of holiness. If you have everything and you can't transfer kingdom value, it's a waste. I'm telling you, valuables without value. I don't care your net worth. Your real worth is what to give to your children, children, and that is the word of God and the spirit of the living God. The spirit of holiness, the spirit of excellence, the spirit of the fear of the Lord, the spirit of wisdom, knowledge, counsel. You transfer those spirit unto them. And that's why you need to watch what I do now. What will be the effect tomorrow? Watch it. Let me say this final one. <laughs> listen to me there are some foundations that cannot carry the next phase of God's glory except you reset it demolish and reset it but you know what very simple it, the scripture has given us everything to do to live a life of godliness in this world Isaiah 51 verse 16 look at it and I have put my words in your mouth. I have covered you with the shadow of my hand. That I may plant the heavens over your head. I want to plant a new heaven. <laughs> this, I told you people are planting heaven every night. Every day. Five hours in a day. Five times a day. They are planting the heaven they want over Nigeria. But we are busy, we are busy telling stories. Fighting. Fighting over nothing. Hmm? Fighting over car. Fighting over jet. When some people five times in a day they are creating a new heaven, they are they are they are resetting the heavens over a nation. Hey, you see us? Lay the foundation of the earth and say to Zion, "You are my people." God say, "I've given you what it takes to lay a new foundation. I've put my word in your mouth. New heaven, and then the foundation." Now I'm giving you a few minutes now. You are going to lay the heaven. You are going to create the heaven you want, and the foundation. Here, let me encourage you. Yes, but God gave me a word in Psalm ninety verse two. I will tell you the word. If before the mountains ever came, eh? before the earth was formed, God is has been God, everlasting God. Every mountain has a lasting period. God is everlasting. My first father, founding father, has a day he was born. And so when you talk about uh, your founding father has committed a sin, I say he has a day he was born. Before he was born, there have been God. So there is a foundation that can swallow that foundation. I'm not going to deliver. So I will not begin to enter into deliver. We're already doing it. I don't like using that word. Uh, I'm going to deliver. Everything we'll be doing right now since I met you here is deliver. Amen. So I'm very careful. Amen. I want you to open your mouth. This is the last one. You begin to lay the foundation you, look, you are looking for for the next generation. You're going to begin to speak to those foundations. You begin to speak to the heaven. Just a few minutes. Open your mouth. The foundation. You see, I am a, gener I'm, I'm a generation that seek the Lord. I always say, God, I do not hate you. My generation love you. My generation love you. I've created a new generation through a new DNA. And so, Father, 
my own generation a new foundation is a foundation of peace generation of progress let corporalists here before the foundation of my first father that has been god who led the foundation of everything we see is the beginning and the end the first and the last can you address some foundation tonight can you address it he said, I put my word in your mouth to lay a new foundation and to plant a new heaven. Do you see the word planting? Is somebody planting new heaven tonight? Oh, the heavens, Rakato, that will declare God's glory. The heavens that will cooperate with my destiny on earth. Is somebody planting? Are you planting a new heaven? Are you planting your heavens? Can you plant it? Can you plant it? Can you plant it? Can you plant the heaven you are looking for? Can you lay a new foundation for our children, for our children, children, your family? Oh, late now. Mari Kosote, Kreketoria Baba, Reketu Sekete. Thank you, God. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Forever, oh Lord, your word is set to the in heaven it is settled forever forever you will continually magnify your word in every situation oh God lest I look for any other means and you have never failed I thereby declare tonight according to your word that you magnify your word above your name and so I magnify your word above every situation in the life of your children you know what is in their hearts you know what they brought before you Tonight, let your word be magnified. Let your situation be swallowed up. Let them be swallowed up. Let them be swallowed up. In the name of Jesus, your word is settled in heaven. Therefore, concerning that matter, concerning that case, concerning that court case, concerning that law matter, concerning that business matter, it is not yet settled. Concerning your health, concerning your conception, it is not yet settled. Concerning that career, it is not yet settled. Concerning that thing you are looking for, and it seems it's not going to work, it is not yet settled. Because the word of God is only settled, and thereby ask the Lord to overturn and overturn and overturn by his mighty word and let our rights be given unto us in the name of Jesus as the Lord God to hasten to perform every word of promise word of prophecies that has gone forth of our life there be anyone upon your life that says there's a negative mantle of negative priesthood and it has been conflicted with the mantle of your priesthood I thereby command let that mantle let it disappear. Amen. Let the mantle of the Holy God let it rest upon you, Amen. your children, our children, children. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I commit your children to your hands that they will love your word. Ah, they will have insatiable hunger for your word. In the name of Jesus, Lord, it is well with this ministry. Lord, the world will continue to bring forth fresh water. Oh, fresh water. Like Isaac, it will be a Rehoboth. There will be expansion. More room in the heart of your daughter. More room for revelation of your word. More room for the revelation of your word. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we declare with thanksgiving. Yeah.